Welcome to BSc Statistics student. In this class, uh, I explain uh, matrix ornament method for n by n games. This is one of the method to solve the game theory. That is problems in game theory. Obviously, it is specified. Very first important thing in this particular method is it can be solved only for square matrix n by n which means uh, player A and player B having uh, same number of strategies, N, same number of strategies, it may be 2 or 3 or 4, right? It can be solved. Now, the method is uh, explained uh, in, the, in the following uh, steps. Step 1. Uh, for example, you have to consider A is a uh, N by N payoff matrix. From the n by n payoff matrix, you have to obtain a new matrix C first of all by subtracting its successive columns from the preceding ones, which means uh, the first column minus second column and uh, second column minus third column and uh, third column minus fourth column, etc. You have to obtain and so on until the last column of A has been taken care of. Thus, C is an n by n minus 1 matrix. One particular uh, column will be reduced, will not be there. So, that is uh, just C is obtaining one particular matrix you consider C, the column matrix you consider, the column matrix is obtained from the elements of A, the payoff matrix, given payoff matrix. For example, there are uh, three particular columns, uh, that is 3 by 3 matrix. Then uh, first column minus second column, second column minus third column. There are three columns, uh, you, then you will get to uh, two columns only. That is n by C is an n by n minus 1 matrix. Step 2. Now you have to obtain a new matrix R, that is represents uh, rows from A. Uh, by subtracting its successive rows from the preceding ones. The similar way we have calculated uh, cap, uh, the C column matrix. The, here the row matrix is going to be obtained by first row minus second row, the elements of first row minus second row, the elements of second row minus third row and so on. And again, uh, R is an n by n minus 1 by n matrix, one row will be reduced. Here the column will be reduced, row will be reduced, only 3 by, for example, 3 by 3 matrix, you will have two rows only, right. Like that, we have determined in the step 1, C, in the step 2, R. And in step 3, determine the magnitude of augments corresponding to each row and each column of the matrix A. So, you have to calculate, you have to determine magnitude. How? The augment corresponding to the ith row is obtained from the determinant of determinant of CI. Whatever the augments which are required to calculate in the magnitude, magnitude of augments, for which you have to calculate uh, the determinant of CI, how it is going to be obtained? Determinant of CI. This is called determinant of CI. The CI is obtained from C by deleting i row. You have to delete the i row and so that you have to determine the uh, determination uh, determinant for all C1, C2, C3 for how many columns are there. Uh, in the column matrix, how many rows are there? You have to by deleting i row, you have to calculate augment. Augment of i row. It is determinant of CI. By deleting i row, you have to, for, for example, first, first row, C1, it is, cal, it is to be calculated. It is required to calculate. Then, uh, by leaving first row, you have to calic calculate determinant for the remaining. Determinant for the remaining uh, two rows, for example, 3 by 3. There will be, uh, by taking this 3 by 2, matrix will be there. That is 3 rows, 2 columns in C. Then uh, uh, by deleting the first row, 
the remaining elements uh, for the remaining elements uh, that is second uh, row and third row you have to calculate determinant that's all like that you have to calculate determinant of all ci c1 c2 c3 to calculate c2 determinant of c2 it is required to calculate uh, by deleting second row for first and third rows you have to calculate uh, determinant like that you have to calculate the determinant of ci which are augments of rows remember from the column matrix c by calculating the determinants you will get the row augments you will get row augments that you see it is very clear where ci is obtained by c by deleting i its i row similarly augment jth column of a this is augments of i row of a row augments determinant of ci column augments are similarly calculated by determinant of r rj by deleting the column jth column we will get this determinant right and uh, then uh, write the magnitude of arguments here the magnitude is nothing but the value what is uh, magnitude of argument after calculating determinant you will get a value for example uh, uh, determinant of 2 4 6 8 so um, you have to multiply uh, ad minus bc the value will provide you determinant the value of the determinant for example 5 that is uh, the magnitude now the you what you have to write the what you have to do is in step 4 uh, in step 4 is it clear yes in the step 4 what you have to do write the magnitude of arguments against their respective rows and columns by ignoring the negative signs if any that is you have to calculate uh, you have to consider modulus of row arguments against rows you have to write against rows and you have to calculate modulus of column arguments and you have to write against columns that is called augmented matrix so such matrix is known as augmented matrix right okay after calculating this you have to go for step 5 step 5 is nothing but check whether the sum of the row arguments sum of the row arguments is equal to the sum of the column arguments uh, whichever arguments uh, by taking the magnitude which means uh, the arguments we have calculated you have to calculate whether you have to check whether sum of the row arguments equal to sum of the column arguments if not the method fails if so only the arguments uh, can be expressed as fractions of grand total which gives the optimal strategies what we have to do is you have to express these uh, arguments uh, as a fractions of grand total the total of arguments you have to calculate row arguments or column arguments which must be equal for example it is 10 then you have to express uh, uh, corresponding to the remaining values that is fractions uh, you have to express as fractions for example first uh, uh, row argument is 2 second one 5 third one 3 then 2 by 10 5 by 10 3 uh, 3 by 10 which are nothing but probabilities p1 p2 p3 like that you have to calculate the optimal strategies of player A and player B respectively by using rows and columns that is row arguments and column arguments right that is step 5 and uh, remaining value of the game as well the calculate expected value of the game that is in step 6 we are doing calculate expected value of the game corresponding to the optimal strategies determined in the above step for player A by taking any row or any column with the respective probabilities if you multiply the expected value of the game is going to be calculated is uh, obtained for any strategy for player a or player b any strategy of player a or any strategy of player b by considering that by considering any one of the strategy of player a and player b we can calculate uh, the value expected value of the game this is what the procedure of method of arguments in the uh, game theory only it is calculated for n by n games hope you understand thank you thank you very much